So I confess right off. <laughs> Time for confession. Um, so I've been asked to do this, and you would think, you know, you say Dr. Sheets, so yeah, I have, I have some science background. I don't know this stuff. So <laughs> I've been asked to do it, I think for two reasons, because I do have a science background, and I was one of the few people to be willing to get up and possibly make a fool, fool of myself. So I, I'm, um, I'm going to try to, to uh, go through it without making for a fool of myself, but we'll see what happens. But I, I, I think, though, one good reason for me to do this and not being an expert on energy sources is that if I can translate it into a form that I understand, then you all are going to understand it also. Now, I come from the environmental justice world, as uh, Bernice said, New Jersey Environmental Justice Alliance and Environmental Justice Leadership Forum on Climate Change. And uh, uh, one thing, uh, other thing I want you to know is that no proselytizing. I'm supposed to just give you the facts and only the facts. And that's very hard for EJ person, but I'm, I'm going to do that. Uh, so the overview of energy sources, we're going to start with traditional um, sources and then move on to renewables. So the sources I'll talk about will be coal, natural gas, in nuclear energy, oil, bioenergy, geothermal, hydropower, solar, and wind. And I have a total of 10 minutes and probably eight now, so let's go to it. I got 10, okay. Now, I, I have the notes you see were generated by researcher in NAACP, thank you very much. And these are the notes that are in your packet. I have a little bit different set of notes, but that's cool. We're gonna work with it. And I'm gonna go by my notes, and I think they'll cover everything you have in here. All right. And most of the stuff, I think most people know, but it's nice to have it all in one place. And we're gonna talk about in the context of electricity, generating electricity. So let's start with coal. We pretty much all know what coal is. That's that black stuff in the ground, right? These are plants that have died, been uh, deposited in the earth, underwater, and then we extract them from the earth. And what do we do, what do, we do with it then? Well, we burn it. And what happens when you burn it? You produce steam. Now, I, I gotta tell you, I'm very proud of this part. Because up to two days ago, all I knew was that you turned on the light switch and electricity flowed somehow and light came out. I didn't know what else happened in between, but I was all right with that. So through two days of reading a day and a half of reading Wikipedia, don't look at me like that. I know you all read Wikipedia too. <laughs> I have learned how this stuff works. So you burn the coal, right? The coal produces heat. You get steam. What happens to the steam? The steam turns to turbine. I didn't know what a turbine was. A turbine, you can think of something with big blades that spins around kind of like a paddle wheel, right? The, the turbine spins around, it spins something else around. A generator. What's in the generator? The generator you can think of basically as a magnet that spins around or a coil that spins around the magnet. That produces the electricity. Now this is going to be a theme. That's why I said that initially, because this is going to be a theme that continues with all throughout. So you burn the coal, you spin the turbine, and you spin the generator. Now we won't talk about what else comes out with the electricity. That's for someone else to talk about what comes out in the atmosphere. Okay, that's coal. Coal, another thing you should know, we get about 49% of our electricity from coal as of 2008. Natural gas. Uh, so natural gas, what's natural gas? Well, that's methane, right? CH4, one carbon atom, four hydrogen atoms. And you can think of natural gas. If the coal is the, or the plants that died thousands or millions of years ago and they turn into coal, the natural gas is the gas that comes off of that either because microorganisms are eating it up, right? Or just because it's so compressed and heated that all the organic material in those plants are basically burned off. Burned off. So that's the natural gas. Now here's a similar story. We get the natural gas out the ground. A lot of times it's in with, the oil, with coal and oil. Um, and then what do we do with it? Well, we heat it up or we burn it. What happens then? Steam or the, or the gas itself, turn a turbine, turn a generator, electricity. All right, you're getting the idea here. Except nuclear energy is, well, it's a little bit different. Now, we all heard about nuclear energy very recently, about what happened in uh, Japan. I'm not, I'm not going to editorialize about that. So nuclear energy, what happens with nuclear energy? Well, we basically have a controlled atomic bomb, right? Uranium we use, fission, we break up the atoms. Um, so you have a controlled reaction going. You bury it in water, and the water boils, and you get steam, and you know what happens next. It goes to a turbine, it turns a turbine, it turns a generator, we get electricity. So basically what you're doing with nuclear energy, you're boiling water. Right? That's what you're doing. Uh, oil 
Here's another common theme. We start with plants. We start with plants in, in coal, right? We start with plants with oil. The plants are deposited in the earth. Thousands of millions of years later, somehow we come up with oil. We won't talk about why one turns to coal and one turns to oil. Inquiring minds will have to learn about that later. Um, we take the oil, right? And what do we do with it then? We make gas, basically. And we put it in our cars, and we put it in diesel-powered vehicles like trucks and buses, and we go on our way. So um, one important thing to note here, though, is that we, we burn the, the, the oil, right? Combustion engines. So we're burning, burning the oil when we put it in our car and our trucks and buses. That's the other common thing, right? We don't use the oil a lot for electricity, but the other common thing is that for coal, natural gas, and oil, we're burning them, we're combusting those. So now we go to renewables. So renewables, um, the reason people like them, uh, two reasons, is because just as the name suggests, they don't run out, or that, that's the theory. We can use them forever. And um, they will produce uh, less pollution, but someone else will talk about that. So renewables are bioenergy, geothermal, hydropower, solar, and wind. Okay, bioenergy. Again, go back to thinking of coal and oil, uh, where you have plants that are kind of fermenting in the ground. The difference, so this bioenergy is coming from organic material. The difference here is that we're actually growing material, maybe on purpose, right, to produce energy. So soybeans, corn, uh, another way of doing it is to get organic material that's been in animals. Uh, I'm talking about manure. Right? So you can do two things now. Once you have the corn and you have the uh, soybeans and you have your uh, manure, you can burn it to produce energy directly. Or you can let it ferment, not for thousands of millions, millions of years like when we get coal and oil, but you can put it in what's called an anaerobic digester, basically put some bugs in, microorganisms, and what will you produce? Well, you'll produce natural gas and then we go through the same process. Geothermal, um, well, we know the center of the Earth is hot, right? Well, you got two, well, I won't go. I was gonna say you got two versions. You, either you watch movies and in the center of the Earth you have this dinosaurs and everything, or you have <laughs> a lot of heat. And we know what you really have is a lot of heat. So we take water from the Earth and it's hot, we bring it to the surface, and then we can do two things. We can use the hot water to what? Probably produce steam, turn the turbine, turn the, turn the generator, or we can use the hot water to heat buildings uh, directly. Hydropower, water. We know what's going to happen with the water. The water is going to turn the turbine. I won't go through the rest of the litany, but you see what's happening here, right? The water turns the turbine, and that's kind of direct application. Uh, solar, sunlight, uh, two ways we produce electricity with, with solar, at least two ways. One, you can produce it directly through photovoltaic cells, little contraptions that actually uh, convert the sunlight into electricity, or you can concentrate the sunlight uh, through mirrors. You've seen all these parabolic mi mirrors, and that gives you heat, and then once again, we can go through the process of using the heat to produce steam, to turn, okay. Wind, uh, the wind, again, is, is akin to the water power, where we can use the wind, everybody's seen the windmill spinning, the blades spin. Well, you know what happens with the blades spin. Now, they can either turn the turbine, they turn the generator, or they can turn the generator directly, I think. And that's it. We have time for questions, but I don't know if I want any. <laughs> no, we don't have time for questions. That's it. Thank you very much.